Hey friends, I'm Jeffy G. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my 10 favorite contact libraries or instruments. Things that I've been using lately that I think are really good. In total, I have 30 or 35 free contact libraries that I've accumulated over time. I'm going to demonstrate my favorites. I'll give you some examples of the sounds. And as a refresher, I'll show you how to load them into Contact 7 or Contact 6. You should know that most of these libraries work with the free contact player, which you can download from the link in the description. Some of them require the full Contact 7 sampler. In my case, I bought Complete 14 when it was 50% off. That included the full Contact 7 sampler. You can buy the sampler separately, but it's actually a better deal if you buy it in a bundle. There are links in the description for all the instruments that I'm demonstrating here. With little doubt, the first free contact library I'd recommend is something called the Free Orchestra. Now, after the first version of the Free Orchestra this year, in 2024, the Free Orchestra 2 came out by the same project. And you can see they give you a matrix of instruments here. And you can run multiple instruments at one time, uh, if you like. Another great free library is Silver by Audio Brothers.
Now before I get too far into this, I'll remind you how to load a contact instrument. I'm in Logic, I'm choosing an instrument, I'm choosing Contact 7. Now in Contact 7, I'm seeing everything that I own in my Complete 14 collection, but I'm also seeing stuff from other vendors. So if I click on say Audio Pro, I see Silver, or if I click on Heaviosity, I see the third party instruments from Heaviosity, and if I select one, off to the right here, I see what the presets are. That would be the same with say Free Orchestra and Free Orchestra 2. As you can see, Free Orchestra 1 had quite a lot of presets to choose from, but it doesn't show you all the third party libraries that you may have downloaded because they don't all show up here. And for the ones that don't show up, you have to add them manually. To do that, you go File, Load, and you go to the directory where you've downloaded and stored all these. And I recommend you store them all in one directory. For me, that's under Music, Native Instruments, Contact, Custom Sounds. So if I go down to say something like Minima 2, I'll see the NKI file. And by selecting that NKI file, it will load it into Contact 7. And now I can play it. You can have multiple instruments in contact at the same time. Now, some third-party instruments that you load are persistent. You load them once and they stay in the library, but most do not. Most of them, you're gonna have to go through this load process every time you want to open up a new third-party library. And that's because the third-party developer hasn't paid the fee to Native Instruments to have it appear in this browser environment. There are lots of free pianos to choose from, but this Epic Grand by Fracture Sounds seems a little bit unique to me. I haven't heard anything that sounds quite like this. Another favorite that I've been using is this Minima. It has quite a few presets. Any of the free Heaviosity instruments are worth getting. Nylon guitar, piano, staccato strings, synth bass, you get a lot of presets with these. So there's a big variety of sounds. But I think my favorite of these is the nylon guitar.
Hearth and Hollow is a Spitfire instrument. The light version is free, and this includes guitar, cello, banjo, mandolin, violin, and dulcimer. Each one of these instruments is in a room, and you can decide how far apart each instrument is, and whether they're on or off, and you can control the articulations for a given instrument. Now the light version doesn't give you full access to everything, but it does have the sounds and some of the articulations. ATO has been a big player in the contact sample libraries space, and they do offer a handful of free instruments that are pretty good. This one is called For You, and it's an interesting collection, somewhat experimental, but still very interesting. Native Instruments has a blog post with their best free contact instruments in 2024. It's a very extensive list and it's organized into synths, vocals, pianos, percussion, guitar, and creative effects. And you might be wondering, well, why would they promote all of these free instruments? Part of that is that they provide the platform and they make a lot of money by selling the contact sampler. And it's a healthy community that meet the NKS standard for those samples. So quite a list here. If you're looking to expand your library beyond the 10 that I mentioned in this video, this is a great place to start. You could spend hours here just scrolling through, understanding what some of these libraries do, and then deciding which ones to download. Free is always good, but you might be asking, what's the catch? Well, some of those vendors give you a light version of their full sample library, so it doesn't have everything in it. But everything that I'm using is useful to me, and the sounds are great. Frankly, I'm amazed just how much functionality people are offering up for free. You can create songs with these things, you can enhance songs that you're doing in your DAW already. Pretty useful. If you have thoughts on other free libraries and instruments for contact, leave them in the description. I'm interested in your opinions and what you find useful. Click on the like button if you found this video useful and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.